key. Ah, I forgot, you ain't seen me before. Erie Smith's the name. I'm an old timer in this fleet bag. 492. 492, yes, sir. Yeah, how long have you been on the job? Four or five days, huh? Yeah, I've been off on a drunk. <laughs> Come to now, though. Tapering off. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad they fired that young squirt they took on when Huey got sick. One of them fresh wise punks couldn't tell him nothing. Yeah, pleased to meet you, pal. Hope you stick around. Yeah. Glad to know you, Mr. Smith. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Hughes. Charlie Hughes. Huh? Hughes? Say, is that on the level? Charlie Hughes. Ha! Ah, well, I'd be damned. What the hell you know about that? Ha. Say, now I notice you don't look like Huey, but you remind me of him somehow. You ain't by any chance related. You mean to the Hughes that had this job so long and died recently? No, sir, no relation. Nah, nah. That's right. Huey told me he didn't have no relations left. Except his wife and kids, of course. Yeah. Poor guy croaked last week. His funeral was what started me off on the bat. <laughs> Some drunk. Hey, I don't go on one often. It's bum dope in my book. Guy gets careless and gabs about things he knows. And when he comes to, he's liable to find his guys who'd feel easier if he wasn't around no more. That's the trouble with knowing things. Yeah. Take my tip, pal. Don't never know nothing. Be a sap and stay healthy. Ah, but hell, <laughs> I always keep my noggin working. Booze or no booze, I ain't a sucker. What was I saying? Oh, some drunk. <laughs> I sure hit the high spots. <laughs> You should have seen the doll I made night before last. <laughs> Did she take me to the cleaners? Huh? <laughs> I'm a sucker for blondes. Hey, you're married, ain't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'd have laid ten to one on it. You got that old look like you he had. Hey, maybe that's the resemblance. Yeah. Kids too, I bet. Yes, sir, three. Ha! <laughs> You're worse off than you he was. He only had two. Three, huh? Uh, well, that's what comes of being careless. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose marriage ain't such a bum racket if you made for it. You he didn't seem to mind it much. <laughs> Although, if you want my lowdown, his wife is a bum. In spades, oh, oh, hey, I don't mean cheating. <laughs> With her puss and figure, she'd never make no one except she raided a blind asylum. Yeah. Hey, how old are you? Wait, wait, let me, let me guess. <laughs> yeah, you look 50 or over, but I'd slay 10 to 1 you're 43 or maybe 44. <laughs> I'm 43 or maybe it is 44. Ha! I win, huh? <laughs> I sure can call the turn on ages, buddy. You ought to see the dolls get sore up when I work it on them. <laughs> yeah, you're like Huey. He looked like he'd never see 50 again, and he was only 43. Me, I'm, I'm 45. <laughs> never think it, would you? <laughs> Most of the dames don't think I hit 40 yet. <laughs> yeah, I make another bet about you. Born and raised in the sticks, wasn't you? I come originally from Saginaw, Michigan, but I've been living in a big town so long I consider myself a New Yorker now. <laughs> I don't deserve no medal for picking that one. Nearly every guy I know on the big stem, and I know most of them, hail from the sticks. Yeah, take me, <laughs> you never guess it, but I was dragged up in eerie PA. <laughs> Ain't that a knockout? <laughs> Eerie P.A. Yeah. Hey, that's how I got my moniker. Nobody calls me nothing but Eerie. Hey, you better call me Eerie too, pal, or I won't know when you're talking to me. <laughs> All right, Eerie. <laughs> Atta boy. Hey, here's another knockout. Smith is my real name. Yeah, 
a Broadway guy like me named Smith, and it's my real name. <laughs> Ain't that a knockout? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember nothing much about Erie PA, you understand, or want to, some punk burg. After grammar school, my old man put me to work in the store, dealing out groceries. Some punk job. Yeah, I stuck it till I was 18, before I took a run out powder. Yeah, hey, speaking of marriage, <laughs> that was the big reason I ducked. Dal nearly had me hooked for the old rat gun ceremony. <laughs> yeah, closest I ever come to being played for a sucker. <laughs> yeah, this doll in Erie, Daisy's her name, it was one of them dumb, wide open dolls. Uh, all the guys give her a play. Yeah. Then one day she wakes up and finds she's gonna have a kid. <laughs> I never figured she meant to frame me in particular. Way I always figured she didn't have no idea who. So she holds a lottery all by herself, puts about a thousand guys' names in a hat, drew one out, and I was it. <laughs> then she told her ma, and her ma told her pa, and her pa come around looking for me. <laughs> but I was no full guy even in them days. I took it on the lamb for Saratoga to look the bang tails over. Yeah. Yeah, I'd started to be a horse player in Erie, though I'd never seen a track. And I've been one ever since. And I ain't done so bad, pal. <laughs> I made some killings in my time a gang still gab about. Yeah. I've been in the big box more than once. <laughs> and I will be again. Yeah. I've had tough breaks too. But hell. I get by. The horses won't run for me. There's, there's draw, stud. They're bad. There's a crap game. If they're all bad, there's always bucks to pick up for little errands I ain't talking about, which they give a guy to keep his clam shut. <laughs> oh, I get along, buddy. I get along fine. Sorry if I'm keeping you up, sport. <laughs> you, he was a wide awake guy. He was always waiting for me to roll in. He'd say, hello, Erie. How's the bang tails treating you? Or how's luck? Or did you make them old bones behave? <laughs> then I'd tell him how I'd done. He'd ask, what's new along the big stem? And I'd give him the latest off the grapevine. <laughs> Used to hand me a laugh to hear Huey crack him like a sport. <laughs> and all the years I knew him, he never bet a buck on nothing. But it ain't his fault. No, he'd have took a chance. But how could he with his wife keeping cases on every nickel of his salary? Yeah, I showed him lots of ways he could cross her up, but he was too scared. <laughs> yeah, the biggest knockout was when he kid me about dames. <laughs> he cracked. What? No blonde tonight, Erie? You must be slipping. <laughs> Jeez, you never seen a guy as bashful with a doll around than Erie was. <laughs> I used to introduce him to the tramps I'd drag home with me, and I'd, I'd wise them up to kid him along and pretend they fell for him. <laughs> In two minutes, I had him hanging on the ropes. He looked like he wanted to crawl under the desk and hide. <laughs> Yeah, some of them dolls was raw babies. They made him pretty raw propositions. Uh, he'd stutter like he was paralyzed, but he ate it up all the same. He was tickled pink. <laughs> yeah, I used to hope maybe I could nerve him up to do a little cheating. I offered to fix it for him with one of my dolls. Hell, I got plenty. I wouldn't have minded. Uh, I'd tell him, just let that wife of yours know you're cheating and she'll have some respect for you. <laughs> but he was too scared. <laughs> yeah, some queens I brought here in my time, brother. Frails from the follies or the scandals or the frolics that'd knock your eye out. And I still could make them. You watch. I ain't slipping. Jesus, what a dummy. Might as well hit the hay, I guess. 
Yeah, what a crummy dump. Why didn't I come back here for? Should have stayed on a drunk. <laughs> you never guess it, pal, but when I first come here, this was a classy hotel. And clean, can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I've been camping here 15 years off and on, and <laughs> I got a good notion to move out. It ain't the same place since you we got took to the hospital. Oh, the hell with going to bed. I just lie there worrying. Believe me, brother. I've never been a guy to worry, but this time I'm on a spot where I got to if I ain't a sap. That's too bad, Mr. Smith. But they say most of the things we worry about never happen. This thing happens, pal. <laughs> I ain't want to bet at nothing since you we got took to the hospital. I'm jinxed. And that ain't all. <laughs> ah, yeah. what the hell with it? You're right at that. Something always turns up for me. I was born lucky. Yeah, I ain't worried. Ah, just moaning low. Hell, who don't when they get over a drunk? <sighs> you know how it is. <laughs> the Brooklyn boys march over the bridge with bloodhounds to hunt you down. I'm still carrying the torch for Yui. But his checking out really KO'd me. Damned if I know why. Lots of guys I know I've been pals with for some reason croaked from booze or something. Or got bumped off. <laughs> I always took it as part of the game, you know. Hell, we all got a croak, you know. Here today and gone tomorrow, so what's the good of beefing. When a guy's dead, he's dead. He don't give a damn, so why should anybody else? I miss Yui, I guess. I guess I got to like him a lot. Hey, not that I was ever real pals with him, you understand. I mean, he didn't run in my class. He didn't know none of the answers. He was just a sucker. Sure, I'm sorry he's gone. Uh, yeah, you missed a lot not knowing you, pal. He sure was one grand little guy. Say, you do remind me of you, somehow, pal. You got that same look on your map. Ah, but I guess it's only the old night clerk look. There's one of them born every minute. Yes, Mr. Smith, that's what Barnum said. And it's certainly true, isn't it? Hey, Nick's on the Mr. Smith stuff, Charlie. There's 10 of them born every minute. <laughs> you call me Erie, like I told you. All right, Erie. Yeah. Yui was one grand little guy. All the same, like I said. You never figure a guy like me would take to him. Because he was a sucker, see? <laughs> the kind of sap you take to the cleaners every night, night after night. And he never wise up, he was being took. <laughs> hey, why? <laughs> every night, just for a gag, I get him to shoot crap with me here on the desk with my dice. <laughs> and he never asked to give him the once over. <laughs> Can you beat that? <laughs> hey. Not that I'd ever ring in no phonies on a pal. I'm no heel. <laughs> anyway, I didn't need none to take Yui because he never made me knock him against nothing. <laughs> Just a roll on the desk here. Ha <laughs> boy, if they let me throw him that way in a real game, I'd be worth $10 million. <laughs> You'd have thought Yui would have got wise that something was out of order. When night after night, when he'd be making lots of money like suckers have sometimes, <laughs> I'd take him to the cleaners in the end. <laughs> but he never suspicioned nothing. All he'd say was, gosh, Yuri, I don't wonder you took up gambling with your luck. <laughs> Can you beat that? <laughs> All the same, like I said. 
It was only a gag. Oh, well, oh, we'd play with real Jack just to make it look real, but it was all my Jack. He never had no Jack. His wife gave him four bits a day for spending money. So, at the start, I stake him with half of what I got. Yeah. In chicken feed, I mean. <laughs> I mean, we pretend the cent was a buck and a nickel was a fin and so on. <laughs> Some big game. <laughs> hey, he, he got a big kick out of it. Yeah. Yeah, he get all head up. <laughs> yeah, give me a kick too. Especially when he say, gosh, Shiri, I don't wonder you never worry about money. <laughs> that guy would believe anything. <laughs> of course, on nights when I didn't have a nickel to my name, I stole him off. <laughs> uh, what laughs he used to hand me. Yeah, he used to call horses the bang tail, like he known him all his life. <laughs> And he never seen a racehorse. Not till I kidnapped him one day and took him down to Belmont. <laughs> what a kick he got out of that. I got scared he'd pass out with excitement. And he wasn't doing no betting either. All he had was four bits. Yeah. It was just the, the track and the crowd and the horses got him. <laughs> Mostly the horses. Yeah. You know, it's funny how a dumb, simple guy like Yui will all of a sudden get something right. He, he says, they're the most beautiful things in the world, I think. And he wins. <laughs> Tell you about. I'd rather sleep in the same stall with Old Man of War than make the whole damn follies. What do you think? Yes, sir. Uh... Mr. Smith, uh, I agree with you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bet you never seen one. Uh, except back at the old fairgrounds and the sticks. I don't mean them kind of turtles, I mean a real horse. Yeah. And what do you think happened the next night? <laughs> Damned if you he didn't dig two bucks out of his pants and try to slip them to me. <laughs> Let this ride on the nose of whatever horse you're betting on tomorrow, he told me. <laughs> Nix. I told him I got sore. I, you're gonna stop playing soccer and betting on racehorses. You don't get no assist from me. <laughs> Where'd you grab this dough? From the little woman's purse, I said. <laughs> what tell are you gonna give her when she, you gotta pay her when you lose it? Yeah. Uh, she'll start breaking up the furniture with you. No, he says. She'll just cry. <laughs> That's worse, I said. No guy can beat that racket. I had a doll cry on me once in a restaurant full of people till I had to promise her a diamond engagement ring to sober her up. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, Louie sneaked the two bucks back in the little woman's purse. When he went back that morning, that was the end of that. <laughs> Boy Scouts got nothing on me, pal when it comes to good deeds. <laughs> that was one I'd done. Eh, too bad I can't remember no others. Yeah, you know I had Huey sized up for a sap the first time I see him. <laughs> yeah, I just rolled in from Tijuana. I made a big killing down there, and I was lousy with Jack. Yeah, come all the way up in a drawing room, and I wasn't lonely in it neither. There was a blonde movie doll on the train, and. I was lucky in them days. I used to follow the horses south every winter. Yeah, I don't know more. Sick of traveling. Ain't as lucky as it was. Anyway, this time I'm talking about it. As soon as I hit this lobby, I see there's a new night clerk. <laughs> well, I'm signing up for the bridal suite. I make a bet with myself, I say. He's never been nothing but a night clerk. <laughs> And I win. <laughs> ah, first he wouldn't open up. But not that he was being cagey about gabbing too much, but like he, he couldn't think of nothing worth saying about himself. But after he see me roll in, 
night after night lasts one, and I stop and kid him along and tell him about the wins I make. He opened up and started talking. <laughs> he was born in some Hickburg upstate. Graduated from high school and had a shot at different jobs in the old hometown, but he couldn't make the grade till he was took on as night clerk. Then he made good, but he wasn't satisfied being only a night clerk in a town where everybody knew him. Uh, he read somewhere, I guess it was the Sucker's Almanac, that all a guy had to do was come to the big town and Old man's success would be meeting him at the Grand Central to give him the key to the city. <laughs> what a gag that is. Yeah, even I believed that once. And no one ever can call me a sap. Yeah. Well, anyway, he made the break and come here. And the only job he could get was night clerk. Yeah, then he fell in love, or guess, <laughs> kidded himself he was, and got married. Yeah. He met her on the subway train. It stopped sudden, and she was jerked into him, and he put his arms around her, and started talking, and <sighs> the poor boob never stood a chance. Yeah, she was a sales girl in some punk department store, and she was sick of standing on her dogs all day, and all the way home to Brooklyn, too. So the way I figure it, knowing Huey and Dames, she proposed and said yes for him and married him. And after that, of course, he never dared stop being a night clerk, even if he could. Hey, yeah, maybe you think I ain't giving her a square shake. Well, maybe I ain't. She never given me one. And she put me down for a bad influence and let her chips ride. Maybe we couldn't have done no better. Dolls didn't call him no riot. <laughs> you and her seemed happy enough that time he had me out to dinner in their flat. Well, not happy. Maybe contented. No, that's boosting it too. Resigned comes nearer. As if each were giving the other a break by thinking, well, what more could I expect? <laughs> How do you get along with your little woman brother? Oh, well, you mean my wife? Why, well, get along all right, I guess. <laughs> Better stop taking them headache pills, pal, before some guy calls you a dope. Yeah. Well, keep hoping, pal. Yui was as big a dope as you until I started giving him some interest in life. <laughs> that time, he took me home to dinner. Was that a knockout? <laughs> took him a hell of a while to get up nerve to ask me. <laughs> sure, I told him. Dewey, I said, I'd be tickled to death. <laughs> I was thinking I'd rather be shot. <laughs> For one thing, he lived in Brooklyn. And I'd sooner take a trip to China. Another thing, I'm a kind of guy that likes to eat what I order, not what somebody deals me. And he had kids in a and a wife and a family rackets not in my line. <laughs> but he looked so tickled. I couldn't Welsh on him. <laughs> ah, it didn't work out so bad. Yeah, of course, what he called home was only a dump of a cheap flat. Still, it wasn't so bad for a change. His wife had done a lot of stuff to doll it up. Nothing with no class, you understand? Just cheap stuff to make it comfortable. And his kids wasn't the gorillas I expected, neither. No throwing spitballs in my soup or them kind of gags. <laughs> they was quiet, like, like you. I kind of liked them. Yeah, after dinner, I started telling them a story about a racehorse, a guy I know owned once. I thought it was up to me to give you, to give him to put out something, you know? An animal's story is what kids like. Huh? And this one was true with that. <laughs> this old turtle never wins a race, but is as foxy as 10 guys. <laughs> a natural born crook. <laughs> the goddamnest thief, yeah. He'd steal anything within reach that wasn't nailed down. 
Oh, I didn't get far. <laughs> so wife butt in, stopped me cold, told the kids it was bedtime and hustled them off like I was giving them measles. <laughs> Got my goat, kinda, him. I could have liked her a little if you'd give me a chance. Uh, not that she was nothing Ziegfeld would want to glorify. You call her plain, you're giving her all the breaks. Well, the hell with it. She had me tagged for a bum and seeing me made her sure she was right. You can bet she told you he'd never invite me again. He never did. Uh, he, he tried to apologize, but I shut him up quick. He says, Irma was brought up strict. She can't help being narrow-minded about gamblers. I said, what's it to me? I don't want to hear your dame troubles. I got plenty of my own. Remember that doll I brought home the night before last? She gives me an argument. I promised her 10 bucks. I told her, listen, baby, I got an impediment in my speech. Maybe it sounded like 10, but it was two. That's all you get. Hell, I don't want to buy your soul. What would I do with it? Now she's peddling the news all along Broadway. I'm a rat and a chiseler, and of course all the rats and chiselers believe her. Before she threw it, one of our friends left. Yeah, see, I... I switched the subject on you, you see? On purpose. He never beefed to me about his wife again. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, pal, I can stop guys that start telling me their family troubles. Ha ha, that's a good one, Erie. Best I ever heard in a long time. Christ, what a dead dump. But his homie is the morgue. Uh, getting late. Better beat it up to my cell. Grab some shut eye. Hey, why didn't you tell me you was deaf, buddy? I know guys are sensitive about them little afflictions, but I'll keep it confidential. <laughs> yeah. yeah, take my tip, pal, and don't never try to buy from a dope peddler. He'll tell you you've had enough already. <laughs> yeah. Ah, me for the hay. Oh, Christ, it's lonely. I wish Huey was here. By God, if he was here, I'd tell him a tale that would make his eyes pop. <laughs> the bigger the story, the harder he'd fall. <laughs> he was that kind of sap. <laughs> he, he thought gambling was romantic. Yeah, you know, I guess he sort of saw me like a, like a guy, the, sort of a, Dream guy, the, like the sort of guy he'd like to be if he could take a chance. I guess he sort of lived a double life, listening to me gabbing about hitting the high spots. <laughs> hey, come to figure it, I bet he cheated on his wife that way, with me and my dolls. <laughs> no wonder he liked me, huh? <laughs> and the bigger I made myself, the more he lapped it up. <laughs> Yeah, well, we left it up. Yeah, at first I went easy on him. I didn't lie. Yeah. Uh, well, no more than a guy naturally does when he gabs about the bets he wins and the dames he's made. But I see he's crying for more. And when a sucker cries for more, you're a dope if you don't give it to him. Yeah. Every tramp I made got to be a Follies doll. Yeah, you, we liked them to be Follies dolls. Uh, or the scandals, or the frolics. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd give him plenty of that. Well, he wanted me to be some kind of, some kind of sheik of Araby. <laughs> or something any blonde would go round-heeled about. Well, I'd give him plenty of that. <laughs> I'd give him plenty of gambling tales. Yeah, I explained my camping in this dump was because 
I don't want to waste Jack on nothing but gambling. It was like dope to me, I told him. I couldn't quit. Oh, he lapped that up. Yeah, yeah. He liked to kid himself I was mixed up in the racket. <laughs> he thought gangsters was romantic. <laughs> so I fed him some baloney about <laughs> some hijacking I'd done once. Yeah, I told him I knew all the big shots. And so I do, in a way. Yeah, to say hello. <laughs> and sometimes they say hello back. Yeah. Who don't know him hangs around Broadway and the joints? I run errands for him sometimes, because there's dough in it. But I'm cagey about getting in where it ain't healthy. You really like to think me and Legs Diamond was old pals, so I give him that too. <laughs> I give him anything he cried for. Hey, but don't get the wrong idea, pal. What I fed you, he wasn't all lies. The tales about gambling wasn't. There were stories of real games and killings that happened since I've been hanging around. Only, ha, I wasn't in on them like I made out, except one or two from way back when I had a run of big luck. I was in the bucks for a while, until I was took to the cleaners. <sighs> Yeah, Louie, you he lapped up my stories like there was duck soup or speak full of heroin. <laughs> I sure took him round with me and tails and showed him one hell of a time. And you know, hey, done me good too. Sure, I get to seeing myself like he's seen me. <laughs> Some nights I'd come back without a buck, feeling lower than a snake's belly. And the first thing you know, I'd be lousy with Jack, betting a grand a race. Uh, I was wise, I was kidding myself. I ain't a sucker, but what the hell? You, he loved it and didn't cost nobody nothing. And, and if every guy along Broadway that kids himself was to drop dead, there wouldn't be nobody left. Ain't that the truth, Charlie? Truth? Uh, I'm afraid I didn't get... What's the truth? <sighs> Nothing, pal. Not a thing. Yeah, I could tell by Yui's face before he went to the hospital he was through seen the same look on guys' faces when they knew they was on the spot just before guys caught up with them. I went to see him twice in the hospital. First time his wife was there and gave me a dirty look. But, but he cooked up a smile and said, Hello, Erie. How the bang tail's treating you? I see he wants a big story to cheer him, but his wife butt in and said he's weak. He mustn't get excited. <laughs> Felt like cracking. Well, the docs in this dump got the right dope. Just leave you with him and you'll never get excited. <sighs> Second time I went, they wouldn't let me see him. That was near the end. Uh, I went to the funeral, too. There wasn't nobody there but a couple of his wife's relations. <laughs> I had to feel sorry for her. <laughs> she looked like she ought to be parked in a coffin, too. The kids was bawling. There wasn't no flowers, but a couple of lousy wreaths. <laughs> it would have been a punk showing for poor old Yui. If it hadn't been for my flower piece, that was some display, pal. Knock your eyes out. <laughs> Sent me back a hundred bucks. And no kidding. Yeah, a big horseshoe. Of red roses, yeah. <laughs> I knew you would want a horseshoe because that made him look like he'd been a horse player. <laughs> yeah. And around the top, written in forget me nots, was goodbye, old pal. <laughs> yeah, you would like to kid himself, he was my pal. Mm, so he was at that. Even if he was a sucker.
I beg your pardon, Mr. I mean, Erie. But uh, did I understand you to say you are a gambler by profession? Do you by any chance know the big shot, Arnold Rothstein? Christ, I wish you he was alive and kicking. I tell him I win 10 grand from the bookies and 10 grand at stud and, and 10 grand in a crap game. I tell him I bought a Mercedes Sport Roadsters with nickel pipe sticking out of the hood. I tell him I make three dolls from the Follies, two blondes and one brunette. <laughs> but you he's better off at that, being dead. He's got all the luck. He needn't do no worrying now. He's out of the racket. I mean the whole goddamn racket. I mean life. Yes, it is a goddamn racket when you have to think, isn't it, a 492? But we might as well make the best of it. Because, well, you can't burn it all down, can you? There's too much steel and stone. There'll always be something left to start it going again. Say, what is that? What the hell are you talking about? Why, uh, to be frank, I really don't. Just something that came into my head. Well, get it out of your head quick, Charlie, before some guys in uniform walk in with a butterfly net and catch you. Listen, pal. Maybe you think I was kidding about that flower piece for you he cost in a hundred bucks. Well, I ain't. I didn't give a damn what it cost. It was up to me to give Huey the big time send off because I knew nobody else would. Oh, I'm not doubting your word, Erie. You won the money gambling, I suppose. I mean, I beg your pardon if I'm mistaken, but you're a gambler, aren't you? Sure. When I got the jack to put up, what of it? But I don't win that hundred bucks. I don't win nothing since you got took to the hospital. I had to get down on my knees and beg every guy I know for a salt buck here and a salt buck there just to raise it. Do you by any chance know Arnold Rothstein? Arnold, what's he got to do with it? He wouldn't loan a guy like me a nickel to save my grandmother from street walking. Yeah. Then you do know him. Sure, I know the bastard who don't on Broadway. And he knows me when he wants to. Yeah. yeah. He uses me to run errands when there ain't no one else handy. But he ain't my trouble, pal. <laughs> my trouble is some of these guys I put the bite on is dead wrong G's. And they expect to get paid back next Tuesday or else I'm out of luck. I have to take it on the lam or get beat up and <clears throat> maybe sent to a hospital. <sighs> what the hell with it? I knew I was taking a chance. I've always took a chance. And if I lose, I pay and no Welshin. <sighs> sure was worth it to give you the big send off. But even that ain't my big worry, Charlie. My big worry is this run of bad luck I've had since Huey got took to the hospital. Not a win. That ain't natural. It, uh, uh, I've always been a lucky guy. I mean, lucky enough to get by, I mean, and pay up. I would never worry about owing guys like I owe them guys. I always know I'd make a win that'd fix it. But now I got a lousy hunch. When I lost Yui, I lost my luck. I mean, I lost the old confidence. He used to give me confidence. Why the hell with it? No use gabbing here. You can't do me no good. Just a minute, Erie, if you don't mind. So, you're old friends with Arnold Rothstein. 
Would you mind telling me if it's really true when Arnold Rothstein plays poker? One white chip is worth a hundred dollars? Say, for Christ's sake, what's it to you? Say, <laughs> Charlie, why didn't you put me wise before you was interested in gambling? I hell, I had you all wrong, pal. <laughs> I've been telling myself, this guy ain't like old Yui. <laughs> he ain't got sporting blood, he's just a dope. Hey, now I see you're a right guy, Shake. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> and you and me will get along. Yeah, I'll give you all the bricks, like I give Yui. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. Is it true? When Arnold Rothstein plays poker, one white chip sets you back a hundred bucks. Sure, why not? Arnold's in the bucks, ain't he? When you're in the bucks, a C notes chicken feed. <laughs> I ought to know. I was in the bucks when Arnold was a piker. Yeah. Yeah, why one time, <laughs> down in New Orleans, I lit a cigar with a C note. <laughs> Just for a gag, you understand? <laughs> I was with a bunch of high-class dolls, and I wanted to see their eyes pop out. Believe me, they sure popped. <laughs> After that, I could have made them one at a time or all together. <laughs> Hell, I once win 20 grand on a single race. That's action. Yeah. Good crap games, action too. Hell, I've been in games where there's 100 grand in real folding money lying around the floor. <laughs> That's traveling. <laughs> ah, of course I wouldn't kid you. I'm not in the bucks now. <laughs> not right this moment. <laughs> ah, but you know how it is, Charlie. Gone today and here tomorrow. <laughs> I got some dough riding on the nose of a turtle in the fourth at Saratoga. Yeah, I hear a story He'll be so full of hop, if the jock can keep him from jumping over the grandstand, he'll win by a mile. <laughs> so, if you see me rolling in here with a blonde that'll knock your eyes out, don't be surprised. <laughs> oh, you can't surprise me that way. I've been a night clicker in New York all my life, almost. <laughs> Ow. Forget the house rules, Erie. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want the manager to remember something he ain't heard of yet. <laughs> hey, say, how about shooting a little crap, Charlie? I mean, just for fun, like I, like I used to with Yui. Yeah. Oh, I, I know you can't afford to take no chances. Uh, I'll stake you. See. I got a couple of bucks. Yeah, we gotta use real jack, or else it don't look real. Yeah. It's all my jack, get it? You can't, uh, you can't lose. I just want to show you how I'll take you to the cleaners. <laughs> It'll give me confidence. Yeah. 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 Yeah, want to give these dice to once over before we start? What do you think I am? I know I can trust you. <laughs> yeah, you remind me a lot of Yui, pal. He always trusted me. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. Woo, well. Ah. Guess it's time to stop carrying the torch for Yui. Hell, can't him do, can't do him no good. He's gone. Like we all gotta go. Him yesterday, me or you tomorrow, and who cares? What's the difference? It's all on the racket, huh? Yeah. I shoot two bits. I fade you. Four is my point. Four it is. <laughs> Easy when you got my luck and know how. 
Huh, Charlie? <laughs> yeah? Ah, forgot you ain't seen me before. Erie Smith's the name. I'm an old timer in this flea bag. 492. Uh, 492, yes, sir. To get my own key. How long you been on the job? Four or five days, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been off on a drunk. Come to now, though. Tapering off. Yeah. Well, I'm glad they fired that young squirt they took on when Yui got sick. Some wise punk. Couldn't tell him nothing. Hey, pleased to meet you, pal. Hope you stick around. Good to meet you, Mr. Smith. Yeah. What's your name? Hughes. Charlie Hughes. Hughes, huh? Ha! Say, is that on the level? Charlie Hughes. Well, I'd be damned. Ha, what the hell you know about that? I say, now I notice you don't look like Yui, but uh, you remind me of him somehow. You ain't by any chance related. You mean to the Yus that had this job so long and died recently? No, sir, no relation. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Yui told me he didn't have no relations left. Except his wife and kids, of course. Yeah. Poor guy croaked last week. His funeral is what started me off on a bat. <laughs> Some drunk. <laughs> I don't go on one often. Yeah. Yeah, bum dope in my book. Guy gets careless and gabs about things he knows. And when he comes to, he's liable to find there's guys who feel easier if he wasn't around no more. <laughs> That's the trouble with knowing things. Take my tip, pal. Don't never know nothing. Be a sap and stay healthy. But hell, I always keep my noggin working. Booze or no booze, I'm no sucker. What was I saying? Oh, some drunk. Yeah, I sure hit the high spots. Yeah, you should have seen the doll I made night before last. <laughs> Did she take me to the cleaners? <laughs> I'm a sucker for blondes. Hey, you're married, ain't you? Yes, sir. Ah. Yeah, I'd have laid ten to one on it. You got that old look like you he had. Yeah, maybe that's the resemblance. Huh. Kids too, I bet. Yes, sir. Three. Ah. Yeah, you're worse off than you he was. He only had two. Huh. Three, huh? <laughs> that's what comes of being careless. Huh. Yeah. I suppose marriage ain't such a bum racket if you're made for it. Yui didn't seem to mind it much. <laughs> Although if you want my low down, his wife is a bum in spades. Oh, I don't mean cheating. <laughs> With her purse and figure, she'd never make no one except she raided a blind asylum. How old are you? Wait, 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 let me guess. You look 50 or over, but I'd say 10 to 1, you're 43 or maybe 44. I'm 43, or maybe it is 44. <laughs> I win, huh? <laughs> sure can call the turn on ages, buddy. <laughs> you ought to see the dolls get soared up when I'm working on them. <laughs> yeah, you like Yui. He looked like he never see 50 again, and he was only 43. Me? I'm 45. Never think it, would you? <laughs> Most of the dames don't think I hit 40 yet. 
Hey. I'll make another bet about you. Born and raised in the sticks, wasn't you? I come originally from Saginaw, Michigan, but I lived here in the big town so long I consider myself a New Yorker now. Ha! I don't deserve no medal for picking that one. <laughs> Nearly every guy I know in the big stem, and I know most of them, hail from the sticks. <laughs> it take me. <laughs> you never guess it, but I was dragged up in Erie, PA. <laughs> Ain't that a knockout, Erie, PA? <laughs> yeah, that's how I got my moniker. <laughs> No one calls me nothing but Erie. Yeah. Hey, you better call me Erie too, pal, or I won't know when you're talking to me. <laughs> All right, Erie. Atta boy. Here's another knockout. Smith is my real name. A Broadway guy like me named Smith and is my real name. <laughs> what a knockout. Uh, yeah, I don't remember nothing much about Erie, PA, you understand. Or want to. After grammar school, my old man put me to work in his store dealing out groceries. Some punk job. I stuck it till I was 18. Till I took a run out powder. <laughs> hey, yeah, speaking of marriage, that was the big reason I ducked. Dal nearly had me hooked for the old shotgun ceremony. <laughs> Closest I ever come to being played for a sucker. This doll in Erie, Daisy's her name. It was one of them dumb, wide-open dolls here. Yeah. All the guys give her a play. Then one day she wakes up and finds she's gonna have a kid. I never figured she'd wanted to frame me in particular. Way well, I always figured she didn't have no idea who, so she holds a lottery all by herself. Puts about a thousand guys' names in a hat. All she could remember, drew one out and I was it. Then she told her ma, and her ma told her pa, and her pa come around looking for me. But I was no fall guy even in them days. <laughs> I took it on the lamb for Saratoga to look the bang tails over. Yeah. yeah, I'd started to be a horse player in Erie, though I'd never seen a track. Yeah. I've been one ever since, and I ain't done so bad, pal. Yeah. I made some killings in my time the gang still gab about. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been in the big bucks more than once, and I, I will be again. Yeah. Ah, I've had tough breaks too, but what the hell? I always get by. Yeah, yeah. If the horses won't run for me, there's, there's draw or stud. If they're bad, there's a crap game. And if they're all bad, there's always bucks to pick up for little errands I ain't talking about, which they give a guy who can keep his clam shut. Yo, know, I get along, buddy. I get along fine. Yes, sir. Sorry if I'm keeping you up, sport. <laughs> Yui was a wide awake guy. He'd always be waiting for me to roll in. He'd say, hello, Erie. How'd the bang tails treat you? Or how's luck? Or did you make them old bones behave? <laughs> then I'd tell him how I'd done. He'd ask, what's new along the big stem? And I'd tell him the latest off the grapevine. <laughs> he used to hand me a laugh to hear Yui cracking like a sport. <laughs> In all the years I knew him, he never bet a buck on nothing. But it ain't his fault. He'd have took a chance, but how could he with his wife keeping cases on every nickel of his salary? Yeah, I showed him lots of ways he could cross her up, but he was too scared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest knockout was when he'd kid me about dames. Ah. He'd crack. What? No blonde tonight, Erie? He must be slipping. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you never seen a guy as bashful with a dame around as Yui was. <laughs> I used to introduce him to the tramps I'd drag home with me. I'd wise them up to kid him along and pretend that they'd fell for him. <laughs> In two minutes, I had him hanging on the ropes. His face would be red. He looked like he wanted to crawl under the desk and hide. <laughs> Some of them dolls was raw babies. <laughs> they made him pretty raw propositions. He'd 
stutter like he was paralyzed, but he ate it up just the same. He was tickled pink. Yeah, I used to hope maybe I could nerve him up to do a little cheating. <laughs> I offered to fix it for him with one of my dolls. <laughs> Hell, I got plenty. I wouldn't have minded. I'd tell him, just let that wife of yours know you're cheating and she'll have some respect for you. But he was too scared. <laughs> some queens I brought here in my time, brother. Frails from the follies or the frolics or the scandals that knock your eye out. <laughs> and I still can make them. You watch. I ain't slipping. Jesus, what a dummy. Might as well hit the hay, I guess. What a crummy dump. What did I come back here for? I should have stayed on a drunk. You never guess it, pal. But when I first come here, this was a high-class hotel. And clean. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, I've been camping here 15 years off and on. But I got a good notion to move out. It ain't the same place since Huey got took to the hospital. How the hell with going to bed? I just lie there worrying. Believe me, pal, I've never been a guy to worry. But this time, I'm on a spot where I got to if I, I ain't a sap. That's too bad, Mr. Smith. But they say most of the things we worry about never happen. This thing happens, pal. I ain't want to bet at nothing since you got took to the hospital. I'm jinxed. And that ain't all. Eh, but the hell with it. You're right at that. Yeah. Something always turns up for me. I was born lucky. I'm not worried. Just moaning low. Hell, who don't when they're getting over a drunk? <laughs> you know how it is. The Brooklyn boys march over the bridge with bloodhounds to hunt you down. <laughs> and I'm still carrying the torch for Yui. <sighs> His checking out was a real KO for me. Damned if I know why. I mean, lots of guys I've been pals with, in a way, croaked from booze or something or got rubbed out. And I always took it as part of the game. Hell, we all got a croak. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, here today and gone tomorrow, so what's the good of beefing? When a guy's dead, he's dead. He don't give a damn, so why should anybody else? <sighs> I miss Yui, I guess. I guess I get to like him a lot. Hey, not that I was ever real pals with him, you understand. He didn't run in my class. He didn't know none of the answers. He was just a sucker. Sure, I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah. Hey, you missed a lot not knowing you, pal. He sure was one grand little guy. Say, you do remind me of you somehow, pal. You got that same look on your map. Ah, but I guess it's only the old night clerk look. There's one of them born every minute. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Smith, that's what they say. That's what Barnum said. Yeah, and it's certainly true, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Nick Summon, Mr. Smith, stuff. Charlie, there's ten of them born every minute. Call me Erie, like I told you. All right, Erie. Yeah. 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 Yui was one grand little guy. All the same, like I said. <laughs> he wasn't the kind of guy that a figure a guy like me would take to. Because he was a sucker, see? I mean, the kind of sap. <laughs> he takes to the cleaners every night. And he never wise up. He was being took. <laughs> Why, night after night, just for a gag. I get him to shoot crap with me here on the desk. With my dice. <laughs> And he never asked to give him the once-over. <laughs> Can you beat that? 
Yeah. Of course, like I said, it was only a gag. We used real Jack just to make it look real, but it was all my Jack. He never had no Jack. His wife dealt him four bits a day for spending money. So I'd stake him at the start with half of what I got. Yeah. In chicken feed, I mean, I mean, we'd pretend a cent was a buck and a nickel was a fin and so on. Some big game. <laughs> you, we got a big kick out of it. You got all head up. <laughs> hey, give me a kick too, in a way. Especially when he'd say, gosh, Yuri, I don't wonder you took up gambling. With your luck, you sure were born lucky. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he sure was one grand little guy. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. So, anyway, like I said. Ah, uh, what the hell? What a crummy dump. Anyway, like I said, my little guy. Yeah. You'd have thought, you know. <laughs> you, we would have got wise. That something was out of order. <laughs> when every time he'd win on a run of luck like young suckers have sometimes, I'd always take him to the cleaners in the end. <laughs> but he never suspicioned nothing. <laughs> All he'd say was, gosh, Yuri, I sure do wonder, sure don't wonder why you're worrying about money. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, I wonder about money. Yeah. Well. Money. Okay. Money. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, could do that. Money. Hey, man. Oh, hell. Money. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Well, no use hanging around here. You can't do me no good. Yeah. She's a crow. Money. Yeah, I do this. Yeah, uh, uh, I can do this, Charles. Yeah. So, oh man, yeah, you got a script? Oh, sorry, yeah. 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 I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yui was one grand little guy. Yeah. All the same, like I said, he wasn't the kind of guy that a figure guy like me would take to. Because he was a sucker, see? Yeah, the kind of sap you take to the cleaners a million times and you never wise up he was being took. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not after night just for a gag? I get it. 
I'd shoot crap with him here on the desk, like I said. Yeah, with my dice, and he'd never ask to give him the once over. Can you beat that? Yeah. Yeah, boy, if they'd ever let me throw him that way in a real game, I'd be worth $10 million. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have thought Yui would have got wise. Something was out of order when I would, night after night, when he'd ring in a lot of money like suckers have sometimes, and I'd take him to the cleaners in the end, but he never suspicioned nothing. All he'd say was, gosh, Yui, I don't want you took up gambling with your luck. You sure were born lucky. Can you beat that? <laughs> and like I said, it was only a gag. We'd use real jack to make it look real. But with all my Jack, he never had no Jack. His wife just fed him two bits a day for spending money. Yeah. So I, I stick him at the start of half of what I got. Yeah. In chicken feed. In chicken feed. We pretend a cent was a, nick, a buck and a nickel was a fin and so on. <laughs> Some big game. Yeah. He got a big kick out of it. <laughs> Give me a kick too. Especially when he'd say, uh, especially when he'd say, I don't want you to never worry about money, Yui. Eerie, he'd say, yeah. With your luck, huh? that guy would believe anything. Yeah. Of course, I'd store him off when I didn't have any bucks to, to gamble. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Some laughs he used to hand me, huh? Yeah. He used to call horses the bang tails, as if he'd known them all his life. <laughs> and he'd never seen a racehorse. <laughs> Except that time I kidnapped him and took him down to Belmont. <laughs> what a kick he got out of that. <laughs> yeah, I thought he'd pass out with excitement. <laughs> and he wasn't doing no betting either. Yeah. All he had was four bits. It was just the track and the crowd and the horses got him. Yeah. Mostly the horses. Yeah. You know? It's funny how a dumb, simple guy like Erie, like Yui, could all of a sudden get something right. He'd say, they're the most beautiful things in the world, I think. And he'd win. Yeah. I'll tell you, pal, I'd rather sleep in the same stall with old man of war than make the whole damn follies. What do you think? Yes, I agree with you, Mr. I mean, Erie. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you never seen one, except the old grandstand <laughs> back in the sticks. I don't mean them kind of turtles. I mean a real horse. <laughs> And guess what Yui did the next night? <laughs> Damned if he didn't dig two bucks out of his pants and start a slipping to me. Let this ride on the nose of the next horse you're betting on tomorrow, he told me. <laughs> yeah, I got sore. <laughs> Nix, I told him. If you're gonna start playing sucker and betting on horse races, you don't get no assist from me. <laughs> yeah. Was that a laugh? Me advising a sucker not to bet? When I spent all my life, most of it, getting saps to bet? <laughs> yeah. I said, where'd you grab this dough? From the little woman's purse, huh? <laughs> what tail are you gonna give her when you lose it? He said, I said, she'll break up the furniture with you, I said. He said, no, she'll just cry. <laughs> I said, that's worse. No guy can beat that racket. I had a doll crying me once in a restaurant, full of people, till I had to promise her a diamond engagement ring <laughs> to sober her up. <laughs> anyway, Yui we sneaked the two bucks back in the little woman's purse when he went home that morning. That was the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> Boy Scout's got nothing on me, pal, when it comes to good deeds. That was one I'd done. Yeah. Too bad I can't remember no others. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know I had Huey sized up for a sap the first time I see him. <laughs> I just come rolling in from Tijuana. Yeah, I made a big killing down there. I was lousy with Jack. Came all the way up in a drawing room. And I wasn't lonely in it neither. There was a blonde movie doll on the train and I was lucky in them days. I used to follow the horses south every winter. Yeah, don't know more. Yeah, sick of traveling. Ain't as lucky as I was. Anyway, this time I'm talking about, yeah, as soon as I hit this lobby, I see there's a new night clerk. Yeah, yeah. And while I'm signing up for the bridal suite, I make a bet with myself. He's nothing, never been nothing but a night clerk. <laughs> and I win, yeah. <laughs> First, he wouldn't open up. Not that he was being gabby, not that he was being cagey about talking, but like he couldn't think of nothing about himself worth saying. But after he uh, sees me roll in here, last one every night, and I stop and give him the, you know, sing song and tell him what I win that day, he got friendly and talked. Yeah. He'd come from Hickburg upstate. Graduated from high school and had a shot at different jobs in the old hometown, but he couldn't make the grade till he got took on as a night clerk in a hotel there. Then he made good. Yeah. But he wasn't satisfied being only a night clerk where everybody knew him. He'd read somewhere <laughs> in the Sucker's Almanac, I guess, that all a guy had to do was come to the big town and Old man success would meet him at the Grand Central and give him the key to the city. <laughs> what a gag that is. <laughs> Even I believed that once. No one can call me a sap. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, he made the break and come here. And the only job he could get was night clerk. Then he fell in love, or kidded himself he was got married. Yeah. He met her on the subway train. It stopped sudden. And she was jerked into him and put his arms around her. And they started talking. And the poor boob never stood a chance. <laughs> she was a sales girl in some punk department store. And she was sick of standing on her dogs all day and all the way home to Brooklyn, too. <laughs> so the way I figured it, she proposed said yes for him, and married him. Yeah. And after that, of course, he never dared stop being a night clerk, even if he could. Hey, you might think I ain't giving her a square shake. Well, maybe I ain't. He never given me one. <laughs> she put me down for a bad influence and let her chips ride. And maybe you he couldn't have done no better. Yeah. Dolls didn't call him no riot. <laughs> you and her seemed happy enough that time he had me out to dinner in their place. Yeah. Well, not happy. Maybe contented. No, that's boosting it too. Resigned comes nearer, as if each were giving the other a break by thinking, well, what more could I expect? Hey, how do you and your little woman hit it off, brother? Oh, me? And my wife? Why, we get along all right, I guess. <laughs> you better lay off them headache pills, pal. First thing you know, some guy's gonna call you a dope. <laughs> well, keep hoping, pal. Yui was as big a dope as you until I gave him some interest in life. That time he took me home to dinner, was that a knockout? <laughs> <laughs> Took him a hell of a while to get up nerve to ask me. <laughs> sure, I told him. I'd be thrilled to death. I was thinking I'd rather be shot for one thing he lived in Brooklyn. And I'd sooner take a trip to China. Another thing. I'm the kind of guy that likes to eat what I order and not what somebody deals me. And he had kids and a, and a, and a wife and family rackets out of my line. Huh. But he looked so tickled. I couldn't Welsh on him. 
and it didn't work out so bad. Of course, what he called home was only a cheap flat of a dump. Still, it wasn't so bad for a change. His wife had done a lot of stuff to doll it up. Nothing with no class, you understand, but stuff to make it comfortable. And his kids wasn't the gorillas I expected, neither. No throwing spitballs in my soup with them kind of gags. They was quiet, like Erie, like Yui. Yeah, I kind of liked them. Yeah. Huh. After dinner, I started telling them a story about a racehorse, a guy I known once. <laughs> I thought it was up to me to put out something, and kids like animal stories, yeah. And this one was true at that. <laughs> this <laughs> old turtle <laughs> never wins a race. But it's as foxy as ten guys. The natural born crook, the goddamnest thief, he'd steal anything within reach that wasn't nailed down. Well, I didn't get far. Yui's wife butt in, stopped me cold, told the kids it was bedtime, and hustled them off like he was giving them, like I was giving them measles. <laughs> Got my goat, kinda. I could have liked her. A little, if she'd give me a chance. Well, not that she was anything Zigfield would want to glorify. When you call her plain, you're giving her all the bricks. How the hell with it? She had me tagged for a bum, and seeing me made her only sure she was right. You can bet she told you he'd never invite me again, and he never did. Yui tried to apologize, but I shut him up quick. He says, uh, Irma was born strict. She can't help being, you know, put off by gamblers. I said, what's it to me? I don't want to hear your dame troubles. I got plenty of my own. Remember that doll I brung home last night before last? She's giving me an argument. I promised her 10 bucks. I told her, listen, baby, I got an impediment in my speech. Maybe it sounded like 10, but it was only two. That's all you're gonna get. Hell, I don't want to buy your soul. What would I do with it? Now she's peddling the news along Broadway. I'm a rat and a chiseler. And all the rats and chiselers, of course, believe her. Yeah, before she threw it, one of her friends left. See, I switched the subject on Yui. See, on purpose. He never did beef to me about his wife again. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, pal, I can stop guys that start telling me their family troubles. Ha ha, that's a good one, Erie. Best I heard in a long time. Jesus. Sure is a dead dump, but as homie as the morgue. Getting late. Better beat it up to my cell. Hey, why didn't you tell me you was deep, buddy? I know guys is sensitive about them little afflictions, but I'll keep it confidential. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take my tip, pal. Don't never try to buy from a dope peddler. He'll tell you had enough already. Well, me for the hay. Christ, it's lonely. I wish Yui was here. By God, if he was here, I'd tell him a tale that would make his eyes pop. <laughs> the bigger the story, the harder he'd fall. He was that kind of sap. He thought gambling was romantic. I guess he sort of saw me like this dream guy, like the sort of guy who <laughs> he'd like to be if he could just take a chance. I guess he kind of lived a double life through me, hearing me gabbing about hitting the high spots. Hey, come to figure it, I bet he cheated on his wife that way, using me and my dolls. <laughs> no wonder he liked me, huh? And the bigger I made myself, the more he'd lap it up. Yeah, I went easy on him at first. Yeah. I didn't lie. Well, well, ain't no more than a guy naturally does when he gabs about the bets he wins and the dolls he's made. 
but I soon see he's crying for more. And when a sucker cries for more, you're a dope if you don't let him have it. Yeah, <laughs> every tramp I made got to be a Follies doll. Yeah, you would like them to be Follies dolls. Yeah. Or scandals, or on the frolics. Yeah, he wanted me to be the Sheik of Araby, or something any blonde to go round heeled about. Well, I give him plenty of that. I give him plenty of gambling tales. Yeah. I explained my camping in this dump was because I didn't want to waste no jack on nothing but gambling. It was like dope to me, I told him. I couldn't quit when he lapped that up. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he wanted to think I was mixed up in the racket. He thought gangsters was romantic. Yeah. So, I fed him some baloney about a hijacking I'd done once. I told him I knew all the big shots, and so I do, most of them, to say hello, and sometimes they hello back. <laughs> who don't know him, who hangs around Broadway in the joints. I ran errands for him sometimes, because there's dough in it. But I'm cagey about getting him where he ain't healthy. You yeah. wanted to think me and Legs Diamond was old pals. <laughs> so I give him that too. I give him anything he cried for. Yeah, but don't get the wrong idea, pal. Not everything I fed you was lies. The tales about gambling wasn't. They were stories of big games and, and killings that really happened since I've been hanging around. Only I wasn't in on them like I made out, except one or two from way back when I had a run of big luck and I was in the bucks for a while till I was took to the cleaners. <sighs> yeah, Lou Yui lapped up my stories like there was duck soup or a spoonful of heroin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I sure did take him around with me and tails and show him one hell of a time. And you know, he, hey, he's done me good too in a way. Sure, yeah, I get to see him myself like he's seen me. <laughs> Some nights I walk in here without a buck. I'm feeling lower than a snake's belly. And first thing you know, <laughs> I'd be rolling in Jack, <laughs> spending a grand a race. Yeah. Oh, I was wise, I was kidding myself. I'm no sucker. What the hell? You we loved it and it didn't cost nobody nothing. And if every guy along Broadway who kids himself was to drop dead, there wouldn't be nobody left. Ain't that the truth, Charlie? The uh, truth? Uh, I'm afraid I didn't get. What's the truth? Nothing, pal. Not a thing. I could tell from Yui's face before he went to the hospital he was through. I'd seen the same look on guys' faces when they knew they was on the spot just before guys caught up with him. Went to see him twice in the hospital. First time his wife was there and gave me a dirty look, but he cooked up a smile and said, Hello, Erie. How the bangtails treating you? I see he wants a big story to cheer him, but his wife butts in and tells me he's weak and mustn't get excited. I felt like cracking. Well, the docs in this dump got the right dope. Just leave you with him and I'll never get excited. Second time I went, they wouldn't let me see him. That was near the end. Went to the funeral too. It wasn't nobody but a couple of his wife's relations. <laughs> I had to feel sorry for her. She looked like she ought to be parked in the coffin too. The kids was bawling. There wasn't no flowers except a couple of lousy wreaths. It would have been a punk showing for poor old Yui if it hadn't been for my flower piece. 
That was some display, pal. Knock your eyes out. <laughs> Sent me back a hundred bucks. No kidding. A big horseshoe of red roses. I knew Yui would want a horseshoe because that made him look like he'd been a horse player. And all around the top, written in forget-me-nots, was Goodbye, old pal. <laughs> you really like to kid himself, he was my pal. And so he was at that. Even if he was a sucker. I beg your pardon, uh, Mr. Erie, but did I understand you to say you were a gambler by profession? <clears throat> Do you by any chance know the big shot, Arnold Rothstein? Christ, I wish Yui was alive and kicking. I'd tell him I win 10 grand from the bookies and 10 grand at stud and 10 grand at the crap game. I'd tell him I bought one of these Mercedes sport roadsters with the nickel pipes coming out of the hood. I'd tell him I'd make three babes from the Follies, two blondes and a brunette. <sighs> Ah, uh, but Yui's better off at that being dead. He's got all the luck. He didn't worry about nothing now anymore. He's out of the racket. I mean the whole goddamn racket. I mean life. Yes, it is a goddamn racket when you stop to think, isn't it? 492. But we might as well make the best of it because, well, you can't burn the whole thing down, can you? There's too much steel and stone. There would be something left to start it going again. Say, what the hell is that? What are you talking about? Why, to be frank, I really don't. Just something came in my head. Well, get it out of your head quick, Charlie, before some guys walk in here in uniform with a butterfly net and catch you. Say, listen, pal. Maybe you think I was kidding about that flower piece for you he cost in a hundred bucks. Well, I ain't. I didn't give a damn what it cost. It was up to me to give Yui a big time send off, because I knew nobody else would. Oh, I'm not uh, doubting your word, Erie. You won the money gambling, I suppose. I mean, I beg your pardon if I'm mistaken, but you're a gambler, aren't you? Yeah, sure. When I got the scratch to put up, what of it? But I don't win that hundred bucks. I don't win a bet. Since Julie was took to the hospital, I had to get down on my knees and beg every guy I know for a saw buck here and a saw buck there until I raised it. Do you by any chance know Arnold Rothstein? Arnold? <coughs> What's he got to do with it? That guy wouldn't loan a guy like me a nickel to save my grandmother from street walking. Then you do know him. Sure I know the bastard who don't on Broadway. He knows me when he wants to. He uses me to run errands when there ain't no one else handy. But he ain't my trouble, pal. My trouble is some of these guys I put the bite on is dead wrong G's. And they expect to get paid back next Tuesday. <laughs> or else I'm out of luck. I have to take it on the lamb, maybe get beat up and sent to a hospital. Ah, but the hell with it. I was wise, I was taking a chance. I've always took a chance. And if I lose, I pay, and no Welshin. Sure was worth it to give you the big send off. But even that ain't my big trouble, pal. <laughs> Big trouble is this run of bad luck I had since Yui got took to the hospital. Not a win. That ain't natural. I've always been a lucky guy. Lucky enough to get by and pay up, I mean. I would never worry about owing guys like I owe them guys. I know I'd always make a win that'd fix it. But now I got a lousy hunch. When I lost Yui, I lost my luck. I'm, 
I mean, I lost the old confidence. He used to give me confidence. Ah, now you's gabbing here all night. You can't do me no good. Just a minute, Erie, if you don't mind. So you're an old friend of Arnold Rothstein. Would you mind telling me if it's really true when Arnold Rothstein plays poker, one white trip is worth a hundred dollars? <laughs> Say, for Christ's sake, what's it to you? <laughs> Say, Huey, say, Charlie, <laughs> why didn't you tell me before you was interested in gambling? I had no idea. I had you pegged for a, a bum. Yeah, I didn't know you was no betting sport like Huey. And now I see you're a right guy. Put her there. That's the stuff. Hey, you and me will get along. Huh. I'll give you all the breaks like I give Huey. Thanks, Yuri. Is it true when Arnold Rothstein plays poker, one white trip sets you back a hundred bucks? Ha! <laughs> sure, why not? Arnold's uh, in the bucks, ain't he? And when you're in the bucks of C-notes, chicken feed. I ought to know. I was in the bucks when Arnold was a piker. <laughs> My one time. Down in New Orleans, I lit a cigar with a C-note. <laughs> Just for a gag, you understand? I was with a bunch of high-class dolls, and I wanted to see their eyes pop out. And believe me, they sure popped. After that, I could have made them one at a time or all together. <laughs> Hell, I once won 20 grand on a single race. That's action. Good crap game's action, too. Hell, I've been in games where there's 100 grand in real folding money lying around the floor. <laughs> That's traveling. Huh, of course, I wouldn't kid you. I'm not in the bucks now. Not right this moment. <laughs> but you know how it is, Charlie. Here today and gone today and here tomorrow. <laughs> up today and down tomorrow. <laughs> down today and up tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I got some dough riding on the nose of a turtle in the fourth at Saratoga. <laughs> I hear a story. He'll be so full of hop. If the jock can keep him from jumping over the grandstand, he'll win by a mile. <laughs> so if I roll in here with a blonde that'll knock your eyes out, don't be surprised. Oh, you can't surprise me that way. I've been a night clerk in New York all my life almost. <laughs> I'll forget the house rules. Yeah, yeah, the manager wouldn't want you to remember something. He ain't heard of yet. Say, uh, how about shooting a little crap, Charlie? I mean, just in fun, like I used to with Yui. Yeah, I got a couple of bucks. Yeah. You gotta use real jack or else it don't look real. Yeah, yeah, but it's all my jack, get it? You can't lose. I just want to show you how I'll take you to the cleaners. Ah, here you are. Yeah. Yeah. I know you can't afford to take no chances. It's all my jack, get it? You can't lose. Hey. Want to give these dice the once over, Charlie? Before we start? What do you think I am? I know I can trust you, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, you remind me a lot of Yui, pal. He always trusted me. Eh. You know, it's time I quit carrying the torch for, for Yui. Hell, don't do him no good. He's gone. Like we all gotta go. Him yesterday, you and me tomorrow. <laughs> Who cares? And what's the difference? It's all in the racket, huh? Yeah. I shoot two bits. I fade you. Hey, four is my point. Ah, 
car it is. Easy when you got my luck. Know-how, huh, Charlie? Thank you. <laughs> really moving. So I heard about this play from my friend. And uh, I just like the character, you know. He's, you don't like him at first, but then he's sort of like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I got most of the lines in. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah. Do you think we should give everybody a name for contact person? Key. Ah, oh, I forgot you ain't seen me before. Erie Smith's the name. I'm an old timer in this joint. 492. 492, yes, sir. Hey, how long you been on this job? Four or five days, huh? I've been off on a drunk. Come to now, though. Tapering off. Yeah, well, I'm sure glad they fired that young squirt they took on when Yui got sick. One of them fresh, wise punks couldn't tell him nothing. Hey, pleased to meet you, pal. Hope you stick around. Yeah. Glad to know you, Mr. Smith. Hey, what's your name? Hughes. Charlie Hughes. Huh? Hughes? Hey, say, is that on the level? 
Charlie Hughes. Huh. Well, I'd be damned. Huh. What the hell you know about that? Say, now I notice you don't look like Yui, but you remind me of him somehow. We ain't by any chance related. You mean to the youths that had this job so long and died recently? No, sir, no relation. No, nah, no, that's right. Yui told me he didn't have no relations left. Except his wife and kids, of course. Yeah, the poor guy croaked last week. His funeral is what started me off on a bat. <laughs> Some drunk! <laughs> hey, I don't go on one often. They're bum dope in my book. Guy gets careless and gabs about things he knows, and when he comes to, he's liable to find his guys who'd feel easier if he wasn't around no more. That's the trouble with knowing things. He'd take my tip, pal. Don't never know nothing. Be a sap and stay healthy. Ah, uh, but hell, <laughs> I always keep my noggin working. Booze or no booze, I'm no sucker. What was I saying? Oh, some drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I sure hit the high spots. You should have seen the doll I made night before last. And did she take me to the cleaners? Huh, I'm a sucker for blondes. <laughs> You're married, ain't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'd have laid ten to one on that. You got that old look like Yui had. Kids too, I bet. Yes, sir, three. <laughs> You're worse off than you he was. He only had two. <laughs> three, huh? <laughs> well, that's what comes of being careless. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose marriage ain't such a bum racket if you are made for it. You he didn't seem to mind it much. Although, if you want my load down, his wife is a bum in spades. Oh, I don't mean cheating. <laughs> With her puss and figure, she never make no one except she raided a blind asylum. How old are you? Wait, wait, let me guess. You look 50 or over, but I lay 10 to 1 you're 43 or maybe 44. I'm 43 or maybe it is 44. Ha! I win, huh? Ha! I sure can call the turn on ages, brother. You ought to see the dolls get sorted up when I'm working on them. You yeah, like Yui. He looked like he'd never see 50 again. He was only 43. Me, I'm 45. <laughs> never think it, would you? <laughs> Most of the dames don't think I hit 40 yet. Yeah. Hey. I'm making another bet about you. You come from the sticks, don't you? <laughs> yes, sir. I was born and raised in Saginaw, Michigan. But I've lived here in the big town so long, I consider myself a New Yorker now. Ha! Don't deserve no medal for picking that one. Nearly every guy I know on the big stem, and I know most of them, hail from the sticks. <laughs> Take me. <laughs> you never guess it, but I was dragged up in Erie, PA. <laughs> Ain't that a knockout? Erie, PA. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got my moniker. Yeah, nobody calls me nothing but Erie. You better call me Erie too, pal, or I won't know when you're talking to me. All right, Erie. Yeah, attaboy. <laughs> Here's another knockout. Smith is my real name. <laughs> a Broadway guy like me named Smith, and it's my real name. Ain't that a knockout? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember nothing much about Erie PA, you understand, or want to, some punk burg. Yeah, after grammar school, my old man put me to work in his store dealing out groceries. Some punk job. I stuck it till I was 18, before I took a run out powder. <laughs> hey, speaking of marriage, that was the big reason I ducked. Yeah. This doll nearly had me hooked for the old shotgun ceremony. <laughs> Closest I ever come to being played for a sucker. Yeah. This doll in Erie. Yeah, Daisy's her name. It was one of them dumb, wide-open dolls. You know, all the guys give her a play. Yeah. Then one day she wakes up and finds she's gonna have a kid. <laughs> I never figured she meant to frame me in particular. Way I always figured 
She didn't have no idea who. So she holds a lottery all by herself. Puts about a thousand guys' names in a hat. All she could remember. <laughs> Drew one out and I was it. <laughs> then she told her ma and her ma told her pa and her pa came around looking for me. <laughs> but I was no fall guy even in them days. <laughs> Took it on the lamb for Saratoga to see the bank tails look them over. Yeah, I started to be a horse player in Erie, though I'd never seen a track. Yeah. And I've been one ever since. Yeah. And ain't done so bad, pal. Yeah, I made some killings in my time. The gang still gab about. I've been in the big bucks more than once, and I will be again. Yeah. Yeah. Had some tough breaks, too. But what the hell, I, I always get by. The horses won't run for me. There's draw or stud. If they're bad, there's a crap game. If they're all bad, there's bucks to pick up for little errands I ain't talking about, which they give a guy who can keep his clam shut. Yeah, I get along, buddy. I get along fine. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sorry if I'm keeping you up, sport. Yui was a wide awake guy. He was always here waiting for me to roll in. Yeah, he'd say, Hello, Erie. How'd the bangtails treat you? Or how's luck? Or uh, did you make them old bones behave? <laughs> yeah. He'd ask, what's new along the big stem? I'm not giving the latest off the grapevine. <laughs> he used to hand me a laugh to hear you cracking like a sport. Yeah. And all the years I knew him, he never bet a buck on nothing. But it ain't his fault. I mean, He'd have took a chance, but how could he with his wife keeping cases on every nickel of his salary? Yeah, I tried to show him a hundred ways to cross her up, but he was too scared. <laughs> the biggest knockout was when he'd kid me about dames. <laughs> he'd crack, what? No blonde tonight, Erie? You must be slipping. Jeez, <laughs> oh, you know, you never seen a guy as bashful with a dollar round than Yui was. <laughs> I used to introduce him to the tramps I'd drag home with me. Yeah, I'd wise them up to kid him along and pretend they fell for him. <laughs> In two minutes, they had him hanging on the ropes. His face would be red. He looked like he wanted to crawl onto the desk and hide. <laughs> Some of them dolls was raw babies. They made him pretty raw propositions. <laughs> He'd stutter like he was paralyzed, <laughs> but he ate it up all the same. He was tickled pink. <sighs> I used to hope maybe I could nerve him up to do a little cheating. Yeah. I'd offer to fix it for him with one of my dolls. Hell, I got plenty I wouldn't have minded. I'd say, just let that wife of yours know you're cheating and she'll have some respect for you. But he was too scared. Yeah. Some queens are brought here in my time, brother. Frails from the follies or the frolics or scandals and that'll knock your eye out. And I still can make them. And you watch, I ain't slipping. And what a dummy. Guess I'll go to bed, hit the hay. Good night, Mr. Smith. Hope you have a good rest. What a crummy dump. What did I come back for? I should have stayed on a drunk. Hey, you never guess it, pal, but when I first come here, this was a classy hotel. And clean. Can you believe it? Yeah, I've been camping here 15 years off and on, and but I got a good notion to move out. Ain't the same place since Yui was took to the hospital. How the hell was going to bed? I just lie there worrying. Believe me, brother, I've never been a guy to worry, but this time I'm on a spot where I got to if I ain't a sap. That's too bad, Mr. Smith. But they say most of the things we worry about never happen. This thing happens, pal. Ain't won a bet since Yui was took to the hospital. 
I'm jinxed. And that ain't all. Ah, what the hell with it? Hey, you're right at that. <laughs> Something always turns up for me. I was born lucky. Yeah, yeah. I ain't worried. Just moaning low. Hey, don't. When they're gutting over drunk. <laughs> you know how it is. The Brooklyn boys march over the bridge with bloodhounds to hunt you down. I'm still carrying the torch for Yui. Damned if I know why. His checking out was a real KO for me. Lots of guys I've been pals with in a way, you know. Croaked from booze or something or got rubbed out. Yeah, I always took it as part of the game. Hell, we all got a croak. Yeah. Yeah. Here today and gone tomorrow, so what's the good of beefing? When the guy's dead, he's dead. You don't give a damn, so why should anybody else? I miss Yui, I guess. I guess I got to like him a lot. Hey, not that I was ever real pals with him, you understand? He didn't run in my class. He didn't know none of the answers. He was just a sucker. I'm sure sorry he's gone. Hey, you missed a lot not knowing Yui, pal. He sure was one grand little guy. You know, you do remind me of Yui somehow, pal. You got that same look on your map. Yeah, but I guess it's only the old night clerk look. Yeah, there's one of them born every minute. Yes, Mr. Smith, that's what they, that's what Barnum says. And it's certainly true, isn't it? Hey, Nick's on the Mr. Smith stuff, Charlie. There's ten of them born every minute. Call me Erie, like I told you. All right, Erie. Yeah, Erie was one grand little guy. All the same, like I said, he wasn't the kind of guy you'd ever figure a guy like me would take to. Because he was a sucker, see? <laughs> the kind of sap. You'd take to the cleaners a million times, and he never wise up. He was being tuck. <laughs> Why, night after night, just for a gag, I'd get him to shoot crap with me here on the desk with my dice. <laughs> and he never asked to give him the once over. <laughs> Can you beat that? <laughs> hey, not that I'd ever ring in no phonies on a pal. Yeah, I'm no heel. <laughs> yeah. You would have thought he would have got wise that something was out of order when no matter how much he'd win on a run of luck like suckers have sometimes, I'd always take him to the cleaners in the end. <laughs> But he never suspicioned nothing. All he'd say was, gosh, Yuri, I don't wonder you took up gambling. You sure were born lucky. <laughs> Can you beat that? <laughs> yeah, of course, like I told you, it was only a gag. We each played with a real jack to make it look real, but it was all my jack. He never had no jack. His wife dealt him four bits a day for spending money. So I'd stake him at the start with Half of what I got. In chicken feed, I mean, you know, I mean, we'd pretend. A cent was a buck and a nickel was a fin and so on. <laughs> Some big game. <laughs> well, you we got a big kick out of it. <laughs> yeah. You we got a big kick out of it. Yeah. yeah. Give me a kick too. Yeah. Especially when he'd say, gosh, Erie. <laughs> I don't wonder you never worry about money with your luck. <laughs> that guy would believe anything. <laughs> ah, of course, I'd have to stall him off on nights when he wanted to shoot when I didn't have a goddamn nickel. <laughs> uh, what laughs he used to hand me? Yeah. He'd always call horses the bang tails, as if he knew them all his life. <laughs> and he'd never seen a racehorse. <laughs> Except <laughs> that time I kidnapped him and took him down to Belmont. What a kick he got out of that. 
Huh. Yeah, I got scared. He'd pass out with excitement. Yeah, and he never wasn't doing no betting either. Yeah, all he had was four bits. It was just the track and the crowd and the horses got him. Mostly the horses. Huh. You know, it's funny how a dumb, simple guy like Yui will all of a sudden get something right. He, he says, they're the most beautiful things in the world, I think. And he wins! Ha! <laughs> I tell you, pal, I'd rather sleep in the same stall with old man of war than make the whole damn follies. What do you think? Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Erie, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, bet you never seen one. Except back at the old fairgrounds in the sticks. I don't mean them kind of turtles. <laughs> I mean, a real horse, yeah. And guess what happened the next night? <laughs> Damned if you, he didn't dig two bucks out of his pants and try to slip them to me. He says, uh, let this ride on the nose of whatever horse you're betting on tomorrow. <laughs> I got sore. I, Nick's, I told him, I said, if you're gonna play uh, sucker and bet on horse races, you don't get no assist from me. Ha, <laughs> ha, was that a laugh? Me advising a sucker not to bet when I spent all my life, or well, most of it, telling saps of stories to make him bet. <laughs> I said, where'd you grab the dough? From the little woman's purse, huh? Yeah. What tail are you going to give her when you lose it? She'll start breaking up the furniture with you. He says, nah, she'll just cry. <laughs> I said, that's worse. <laughs> No guy can beat that racket. Well, I, one time I was in a restaurant, I had a doll crying me. It was full of people and I, I had to promise her a diamond engagement ring to sober her up. <laughs> well, anyway, you know, he slipped the two bucks back in the little woman's purse when, when he went home that morning. And that was the end of that. <laughs> Boy Scouts got nothing on me, pal, when it comes to good deeds. That was one I'd done. <laughs> Too bad, I can't remember no others. <laughs> yeah. You know I had Yui sized up for a sap the first time I seen him. I just uh, rolled in from Tijuana. I made a big killing down there and I was lousy with Jack. Yeah. Came all the way up in a drawing room. And I wasn't lonely in it neither. There was a blonde movie doll on the train. And I was lucky in them days. Yeah. I used to follow the horses south every winter. Don't know more. Sick of traveling. I ain't as lucky as I was. Well, anyway, <laughs> this time I'm talking about. As soon as I hit this lobby, I see, hey, there's a new night clerk. And while I'm signing up for the bridal suite, I make a bet with myself that he's never been nothing but a night clerk. And I win, yeah. Ah. First he wouldn't open up. Not that he was cagey about Gavin too much, but like he couldn't think of nothing worth saying about himself. But after he sees me roll in last one here every night and I stop and kid him along and tell him the tale of what I win that day, he, he got friendly and talked. He'd come from some Hickburg upstate, graduated from high school and had a shot at different jobs in the old hometown, but couldn't make the grade until he was took on as night clerk in the hotel there. Then he made good, but he wasn't satisfied being only a night clerk where everybody knew him. He read somewhere, <laughs> I guess in the sucker's almanac, but all a guy had to do was come to the big town and old man, whew, success would meet him at the Grand Central and hand him the key to the city. <laughs> what a gag that is. <laughs> yeah, I used to believe it once and no one can ever call me a set. Well, anyway, you even made the break and come here and the only job you could get was night clerk. <laughs> Then he fell in love, or kidded himself he was. 
and got married. <laughs> he met her on the subway train. It stopped sudden and she was jerked into him. And he put his arms around her and they started talking and the poor boob never stood a chance. She was a sales girl in some punk department store and she was sick of standing on her dogs all day and all the way home to Brooklyn too. Yeah. Way I figured it, knowing Huey and Dames, she proposed to him and said yes for him and got married him. <laughs> and then after that, of course, he could never stop being a night clerk, even if he wanted to. Hey, maybe you think I ain't giving her a square shake. Well, maybe I ain't. She didn't give me one. <laughs> she put me down for a bad influence and let her chips ride. Uh, yeah, maybe you he couldn't have done no better. <laughs> Dolls didn't call him no riot. You and her seemed happy enough that time. I, they had me out to dinner in their flat. <laughs> Not happy. Contented, maybe. Nah, even that's boosting it. Resigned comes nearer. As if each were giving the other a break by thinking, well, what more could I expect? <laughs> hey, how do you and your little woman hit it off, brother? Oh. You, you mean my wife? Why, uh, we get along all right, I guess. <laughs> Better lay off them headache pills, pal. First thing you know, some guy's gonna call you a dope. <laughs> yeah. Well, keep hoping, pal. Yui was as big a dope as you until I gave him some interest in life. That time he had me out to dinner, took me home there, boy, was that a knockout? <laughs> Took him a hell of a while to get up nerve to ask me. Sure, Yui, I told him. I'd be tickled to death. <laughs> I was thinking I'd rather be shot. <laughs> For one thing, he lived in Brooklyn. And I'd sooner take a trip to China. Another thing, I'm a guy that likes to eat what I order, not what somebody deals me. And he had kids and a wife and the family rackets out of my line. Ha, huh, but Yui looked so tickled I couldn't well shun him. And it didn't work out so bad. You know, of course, what he called home was only a dump of a cheap flat. Still, wasn't so bad for a change. His wife had done a lot of stuff to doll the place up. Nothing with no class, you understand, but just cheap stuff to make it comfortable. And his kids, well, they wasn't the gorillas I expected, neither. No throwing spitballs in my soup or them kind of gags. <laughs> they was quiet, like Yui. I kind of liked them. Yeah. After dinner, I started telling him a story about a racehorse, a guy I know owned once. Uh, I thought it was up to me to put out something, and kids like animal stories, and this one was true at that. This old turtle never wins a race, <laughs> but is as foxy as ten guys. A, a, a natural born crook, the goddamnest thief. <laughs> He'd steal anything that was nailed down. Well, I didn't get far. Yui's wife butt in, stopped me cold, told the kids it was bedtime, and hustled them off like I was giving them measles. Got my goat, kinda. I could have liked her a little. She'd give me a chance. Not that she was nothing Ziegfeld would want to glorify. When you call her plain, you're giving her all the breaks. Yeah. Yeah, she had me tagged for a bum, and seeing me only made her sure she was right. You can bet she told you he'd never invite me again, and he never did. Yui yeah, tried to apologize, but I shut him up quick. I... He said, Irma's was brought up strict. She can't help being narrow-minded about gamblers. I said, what's it to me? I don't want to hear your dame troubles. I got plenty of my own. 
Remember that doll I brung home night before last? <laughs> She'd given me an argument. I promised her 10 bucks. <laughs> Listen, baby, I told her. I got an impediment in my speech. Maybe you sounded like 10 to you, but it was two, and that's all you get. Hell, I don't want to buy your soul. What would I do with it? Now she's peddling the news all along Broadway. I'm a rat and a chiseler. And of course, all the rats and chiselers believe her. Yeah, see, I, before she's done, I said, I won't have any friends left. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I switched the subject on Yui, get it? Yeah, on purpose. He never did beef to me about his wife again. <laughs> Believe me, pal, I can stop guys that start telling me their family troubles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. That's a good one, Erie. Best I heard in a long time. Jesus, what a dead dump. But as homie as the morgue. Uh, getting late. I better beat it up to my cell. Grab some shut eye. Hey, why don't you tell me you was deep, buddy? I know guys is sensitive about them little afflictions, but I'll keep it confidential. <laughs> Take my tip, pal. Don't never try to buy from a dope peddler. He'll tell you you've had enough already. Uh, well, me for the hay. Oh, Christ, it's lonely. I wish Yui was here. By God, if he was here, I'd tell him a tale that would make his eyes pop. <laughs> The bigger the story, the harder he'd fall. He was that kind of sap. He thought gambling was romantic. I guess he sort of saw me like a dream guy, like the sort of guy he'd like to be if he could take a chance. I guess he sort of saw me like, sort of lived a double life, listening to me gabbing about hitting the high spots. <laughs> Come to figure it. I bet he even cheated on his wife that way, using me and my dolls. No wonder he liked me, huh? And the bigger I made myself, the harder, the more he lapped it up. <laughs> well, I went easy on him at first. I didn't lie. <laughs> well, no more than a guy naturally does when he gabs about the Betsy wins and the dolls he's made. But I soon see he's crying for more. <laughs> and when a sucker cries for more, you're dope if you don't let him have it. Every tramp I made got to be a Follies doll. <laughs> yeah. You would like them to be Follies dolls. Or the scandals, or in the frolics. He wanted me to be the Sheik of Araby, or something any blonde would go round heeled about. Well, I give him plenty of that. <laughs> I give him plenty of tales about gambling, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I explain my camping in this dump. Because I don't want to waste Jack on nothing but gambling. Yeah, yeah. It was like dope to me, I said. I couldn't quit. Well, he lapped that up. <laughs> he liked to kid himself. I was mixed up in the racket. <laughs> he thought gangsters was romantic. So I fed him some baloney about a hijacking I'd done once. <laughs> yeah, I told him I knew all the big shots. Well, so I do, most of them. Ah, to say hello, and sometimes they hello back. Yeah. Who don't, who don't know him on Broadway and in the joints? I ran errands for him sometimes, because there's dough in it. But I'm cagey about getting in where it ain't healthy. Huey <laughs> liked to think I was old pals with Legs Diamond, <laughs> so I give him that one too. I give him anything he'd cry for. But hey, don't get the wrong idea, pal. What I said, Huey, wasn't all lies. Tales about gambling wasn't. There were stories of big games and killings that really happened since I've been hanging around. 
Only I wasn't in on them like I made out, except one or two from way back. When I had a run of big luck and was in the bucks for a while, until I was took to the cleaners. <laughs> yeah, you lapped up my stories like they was duck soup or a beak full of heroin. <laughs> I sure did take him around with me in tails and show him one hell of a time. And, and you know, yeah, done me good too, in a way. Yeah, sure, yeah. I get to see myself like he's seen me. Yeah. Uh, some nights I'd walk back in here without a buck, feeling lower than a snake's belly. First thing you know, I'd be lousy with Jack betting a grander race. <laughs> Oh, I was wise. I was kidding myself. I ain't a sap. But, ah, what the hell. You, we loved it and didn't cost nobody nothing. And every guy along Broadway that kidded himself was to drop dead. There wouldn't be nobody left. Ain't that the truth, Charlie? Truth? Uh, uh I'm afraid I didn't get. Uh, what's the truth? Nothing, pal. Not a thing. Yeah, I could see from Yui's face. Before we went to the hospital, he was through. I seen the same look on guys' faces when they knew they was on the spot just before guys caught up with him. I went to see him twice in the hospital. First time I went, his wife was there and giving me a dirty look. But he cooked up a smile and said, Hello, Erie. How the bang tails treating you? And I could see he wants a big story to cheer him. But his wife butt in and said, He's weak and mustn't get excited. <laughs> and I felt like cracking. Well, the docs in this dump got the right dope. Just leave you with him and he'll never get excited. <laughs> Second time I went, he wouldn't let me see him. That was near the end. Went to the funeral too. He wasn't nobody but a couple of his wife's relations. <laughs> yeah. I had to feel sorry for her. She looked like she ought to be parked in the coffin too. Oh, the kids was bowling. Uh, wasn't no flowers except a couple of lousy wreaths. It would have been a punk showing for poor old you if it hadn't been for my flower piece. That was some display, pal. You didn't knock your eyes out. A big horseshoe of red roses. Yeah, I knew you would want a horseshoe because that made him look like he'd been a horse player. And around the top, written in forget-me-nots was Goodbye, old pal. Yeah, you, he liked to kid himself he was my pal. So he was at that, even if he was a sucker. I beg your pardon, uh, Mr. Uh, Erie, but did I understand you to say you were a gambler by profession? Do you by any chance know the big shot Arnold Rothstein? Oh, Christ. I wish you he was alive and kicking. I'd tell him I win ten grand from the bookies and ten grand at stud and, and ten grand in a crap game. I'd tell him I bought one of them Mercedes sport roadsters with a nickel pipe sticking out of the hood. I'd tell him I lay three babes from the follies, two blondes and one brunette. But you, he's better off at that, being dead. He's got all the luck. He needn't do no worrying now. He's out of the racket. I mean, the whole goddamn racket. I mean, life. Yes, it is a goddamn racket when you stop to think, isn't it 492? But we might as well make the best of it because. What the hell? You can't burn the whole thing down, can you? There's too much steel and stone. Always be something left to get it going again.
Say, what is this? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, why, uh, to be frank, I, I really don't. Just something came in my head. Well, get it out of your head quick, Charlie, before some guys walk in here in uniform with a butterfly net and take you away. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, pal. Maybe you guess I was kidding about that flower piece for you he cost in a hundred bucks. Well, I ain't. I didn't give a damn what it cost. It was up to me to give Yui the big time send off because I knew nobody else would. Oh, I'm not doubting your word, Erie. You won the money gambling, I suppose. I mean, I beg your pardon if I'm mistaken, but you're a gambler, aren't you? Yeah, sure, when I got scratched put up. But I don't win that hundred bucks. I don't win a bet since Yui got took to the hospital. I had to get down on my knees and beg every guy I know for a saw buck here and a saw buck there till I raised it. Do you by any chance know Arnold Rothstein? Arnold, what's he got to do with it? He wouldn't loan a guy like me a nickel to save my grandmother from street walking. Then you do know him. I sure I know the bastard who don't on Broadway. He knows me too, when he wants to. He uses me to run errands or ain't no one else handy. But he ain't my trouble, pal. My trouble is some of these guys I put the bite on is dead wrong G's, and they expect to get paid back next Tuesday or else I'm out of luck. I have to take on the lamb or get beat up and maybe sent to a hospital. Ah, but what the hell? Yeah, I was wise I was taking a chance. I've always took a chance. And if I lose, I pay. And no welshing. It sure was worth it to give Yui the big send-off. <laughs> but even that ain't my big worry, Charlie. My big worry is this run of bad luck I had since Yui was took to the hospital. Not a win. That ain't natural. I've always been a lucky guy. Lucky enough to get by and pay up, I mean. I wouldn't ever worry about owing guys like I owe them guys. I always know I'd make a win that'd fix it. But now I got a lousy hunch. When I lost Yui, I lost my luck. I mean, I lost the old confidence. He used to give me confidence. Ah, no use gabbing here all night. You can't do me no good. Just a minute, Erie, if you don't mind. So, you're an old friend of Arnold Rothstein? Would you mind telling me if it's really true that when Arnold Rothstein plays poker, one white chip is worth a hundred dollars? Say, for Christ's sake, what's it to you? Say, Charlie, why didn't you tell me before you was interested in gambling? Hell, I got you all wrong, pal. I've been telling myself, this guy ain't like old Yui. He ain't got no sporting blood. He's just a dope. See, now I see you're a right guy. Hey, shake. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah. You and me will get along. Hey, I'll give you all the breaks like I give Yui. Thanks, Yuri. Is it true when Arnold Rothstein plays poker, one white trip sets you back a hundred bucks? Huh? Sure, why not? Arnold's in the bucks, ain't he? And when you're in the bucks, a C note is chicken feed. Hell, I ought to know. I was in the bucks when Arnold was a piker. Yeah. One time down in New Orleans, I lit a cigar with a C-note. Just as a gag, you understand? I was with a bunch of high-class dolls, and I wanted to see their eyes pop. Believe me, they sure popped. <laughs> After that, I could have made them one at a time or all together. Hell, I once win 20 grand on a single race. That's action. 
good crap games action too. Hell, I've been in games with a hundred grand and real folding money lying around the floor. That's traveling. <sighs> ah, of course I wouldn't kid you. I'm not in the bucks now. Not right this moment, but hey, you know how it is, Charlie. Down today and up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I got some dough. Riding on a turtle in the fourth at Saratoga. I hear a story. He'll be so full of hop, if the jock can keep him from jumping over the grandstand, he'll win by a mile. <laughs> yeah, so if I roll in here with a blonde that'll knock your eyes out, don't be surprised. Oh, you can't surprise me that way. I've been a night clerk in New York all my life almost. <laughs> I'll forget the house rules, Erie. Yeah. The manager wouldn't want you to remember something he ain't heard of yet. Say, uh, how about shooting a little crap, Charlie? Oh, I mean, yeah, just in fun, like, like I used to with Yui. Yeah, I know you can't afford to take no chances. I'll stake, you see? Yeah, I got a couple of bucks. We gotta use real jack, or else it don't look real. But it's all my jack, see? You can't lose. I just want to show you how I'll take you to the cleaners. <laughs> It'll give me confidence. Hey. Want to give these dice the once over before we start? I know. What do you think I am? I know I can trust you. <laughs> You remind me a lot of Yui, pal. He always trusted me. Well, don't be surprised if I'm lucky. You know, it's time I quit carrying the torch for Yui. Hell, what's the use? Don't do him no good. He's gone. Like we all gotta go. Him yesterday, me or you tomorrow. And who cares? What's the difference? It's all in the racket, huh? I shoot two bits. I fade you. Ah, four is my point. Ah, four it is! <laughs> Easy. You got my luck. Know how, huh, Charlie? Thank you. <laughs> Boy, you guys are brave. <laughs> Thanks so much for making theater alive here. <laughs> Stay warm. <laughs> Show you the audience. 